Hey guys, and welcome to our Vanilla Item Spotlight, a series in which we're going to be introducing you to some must-have items for PvP, be it jewels, world PvP, or battlegrounds. These items are all must-haves and provide unique benefits that will give you the edge when it comes to player versus player. We're going to break down the items, tell you how they work, what their uses are, and then guide you through the process of achieving them. Our first item is probably the strongest item you can get to give you that extra edge in PvP right now for every single class, and that's Skull of Impending Doom. Whilst at first glance it may not seem like much, just an offhand providing you with 7 intellect and a run speed increase at the cost of some life and mana. So what's the big deal? Well, Skull of Impending Doom is good for two reasons. First is that it's a speed increase. In vanilla, mobility was extremely scarce, with most classes having little to no gap closing ability. This means any added mobility you can gain is a huge bonus. And Skull does exactly that, by giving you a 60% run speed for 10 seconds, allowing you to catch up with enemies trying to flee, move around the map faster, or even gain that added mobility to escape a target trying to connect to you. As this item doesn't share a cooldown with trinkets or even potions, you can chain this 60% movement speed with other items like Nifty Stopwatch or even a Swiftness Potion, giving you some insane mobility if you're unable to mount for whatever reason. Although Skull of Impending Doom's drawback is that you will take some damage and lose some mana every 2 seconds for the duration of the buff. With that in mind, this item's drawback is actually its biggest strength and number one reason why this item is a must have for PvP. Why you might ask? Well, Skull of Impending Doom was first showcased by the godfather of World of Warcraft himself, Swifty, in his incredible warrior tricks. This was the item that he was using to break polymorphs. See why this item is a must now? Yeah, Skull of Impending Doom can be used to break crowd control. In vanilla, crowd control was a whole different level. If you thought retail crowd control was bad, then you're going to have a fun time in vanilla without this item. Polymorph, Sap and Freezing Trap can all last anywhere up to 8 to 20 seconds due to the heartbeat mechanic, whilst Gouge lasts a static 5.5 and Scattershot a baseline 4 seconds, whilst Blind is also 10 seconds. So, using this item before any of these crowd controls land will result in you breaking out of the crowd control. Now, you might think, well, up to 500 damage every 2 seconds for 10 seconds sounds like suicide. Well, this item gives you a buff. As we all know, buffs can be cancelled, and this item is no exception to that rule. You can cancel the buff after you've broken the crowd control by either swapping the item back to your normal offhand or with this macro. With good timings, you should ideally look to only take one or two ticks and then swap back after you've broken your desired crowd control. So if you're dueling, world PvPing or even doing battlegrounds once they're released and are up against a mage, hunter or even rogue, make sure you have this item equipped to negate some of their crowd control. After you've used it, swap back and leave them wondering what exactly just happened. Okay, so how do you go about obtaining this must-have item for PvP? Well, the quest chain starts in the Badlands, from a dwarf named Falder in the Lost, located at 5176 if you have coordinates. He will send you on a quest called Solution to Doom, which will send you across the Badlands to Alderman in chase of the Tablet of Ryuna. Once you get to Alderman, walk through the entrance to the cave and follow the cave until you reach the entrance to the instance Alderman. Once there, do not jump down and instead follow the path to the left. Eventually, you'll end up at a dig site with a large chest in the centre. Inside of this chest, you will find the Tablet of Ryuna. After you've got the tablet, return back to Falder in the Lost and you'll gain a follow-up quest, send an alliance to Ironforge and Horde to Undercity. Once there, Horde will want to talk to Keeper Baldegur, located under the bridge to the Apothecarium, whilst Alliance will head to Gerrit Bonegrip in the Forlorn Cavern. After you've spoken to the respective quest giver for your faction, both Horde and Alliance will gain the same quest, called the Star, the Hand and the Heart which wants you to travel around the world and bring back the Star of Zilia, the Hand of Dagon and the Legacy Heart. To obtain the Star, you'll need to travel to the Alterac Mountains, located here on the map, and head to the ruins of Alterac, and slay an ogre named Grauborg the Miser, 
a level 39 elite, you can find patrolling the grounds of the keep. After you loot the star, it's off to Duskwallow Marsh to kill Dagon the Ravenous, but before spawning him, you will need to slay Myafin Oracles, the Murlocs on the island, to obtain the Enchanted Sea Kelp. Once you have the kelp, use it in your inventory whilst near the orb in the centre, and you will spawn Dagon the Ravenous, a level 43 elite giant. Kill him and then borrow his hand. Now, for the last item, the Legacy Heart, you'll have to travel to Stranglethorn Vale. Located at 4744, you'll find the ruins of Zolmanwi. You'll find a troll named Mog the Undying in the centre. Make short work of him and loot the last item you need, which is the Legacy Heart. Once you've got all three items, return back to either Ironforge or Undercity and hand them in to the same guy that sent you in the first place. After that, you'll get sent back to the Badlands to talk to Fowder and the Lost one last time. And when you get there, congratulations, you're done and he will reward you with the Skull of Impending Doom. Alright then guys, that was it for our vanilla World of Warcraft's first item spotlight. Stay tuned for some more must-have items coming shortly. And as always, I'm Zot, thanks for watching and be sure to plus skill if you enjoyed this video.